Hello everyone, my name is Rajeshwari. Welcome to Talk to Topper program of Pipedia Learning Platform. Today we have Mr. Pramod Mahajan with us, who is a research scholar from NITI, and he will share his experience and journey with us. Hello, sir. Hello, hello, Rajeshwari. Hi, everyone. Okay, so just tell us something about yourself. Uh, okay. Uh, my name is Pramod Mahajan, as you told. Uh, I'm from Maharashtra. And uh, I did my B.Tech in mechanical engineering in one of the private uh, college in uh, Aurangabad. After that, uh, I cracked the gate. In between, I took one year for gate exam. So I cracked the gate and I, I joined the uh, National Institute of Food Technology, Entrepreneurship and Management. There, I, I entered in a food plant operation management department. So anyone from uh, mechanic, so anyone from mechanical engineering. Uh, want to join a food plant operation management course he or she can join there with gate score so it is very nice institute if you if you wanted to join after that uh, um, after my mtech i i work for 3 months in a uh, one one of the logistic company and for 3 months in a i am rotak as a research assistant so uh, so in between one year, I worked two places. And after that, I joined NITI as a fellow, fellow scholar. Okay, so, and how you made it possible to NITI? So for NITI, uh, first of all, uh, they consider uh, five-year GATE score. So I cracked a GATE exam in 2018. So on that GATE score, I joined uh, NITI. Uh, so the process, if you see, uh, for uh, process, uh, like uh, first they will shortlist uh, your uh, form based upon your uh, uh, SOP. Okay, uh, statement of purpose and uh, research uh, proposal. So after shortlisting, they will uh, conduct one test, return test. It will be online uh, due to this COVID situation and all. So after uh, return test, uh, like one more uh, presentation will be there. Presentation with interview. They'll ask question, and uh, before that, they will send one paper, a research paper. You have to read that paper, and I have to conclude that paper in the presentation itself. Means first of all, your presentation, and second is that research paper, proposal, research paper they have sent before you. So you have to conclude that research paper in a short way, and you have to explain what what was that paper and what what are the methodology they have used in that paper so that's how they have conducted the whole process and uh, i entered through, through that process so now like uh, in niti we have fellow program in management not a phd so according to like uh, here uh, the policy the fellow program is also equivalent to phd so you can say i'm a phd scholar Okay, and what are the future opportunities you have after PhD from NITI? So for as for uh, as far as future opportunity, you say like uh, there are three future opportunities. Uh, one is like uh, you can you can go to directly into academics as a assistant professor. Uh, second is a corporate job. So for corporate job, uh, you you need a specific skill set. Like uh, you have to practically think about your skill set, what uh, what you can contribute in that uh, corporate, how you can contribute in that corporate corporate sector. So basically, if I'm operation in the field of operation, I need to learn some uh, data analytics tools and techniques, software and all, R programming, Python and all. So it is it is also best option to go into uh, corporate sector. So the third option is. Uh, Post doctorate. So, in NIT, there are many scholars uh, who opted for postdoc. Also, you need to have a good uh, research paper for uh, approaching for postdoc in any foreign university. Yeah. Okay. And what are the suggestions you you want to give us to our experience? So, for uh, like uh, for undergraduate uh, aspirants, I can say like they can also opt for uh, that phd course directly after btech but uh, 
directly after beta in uh, any iim like there are many ions like there are 20 ions there so they can go to that means they can opt for that course but uh, there will be very rigorous process uh, of uh, selection uh, they have to con uh, they, they have to compete with uh, post graduate student also so there are very less possibility to uh, enter into phd after btech but it is not impossible thing to join after bit phd after btech so after, for uh, for postgraduate student i can say uh, they can they can like uh, with uh, any gate score cat score any national test national examination national uh, examination they they can enter through which they can enter into any IIM or IIT also. If, if it is student, if it student is having uh, like MBA background, master's background, they can directly opt to any management area they want to. It depends upon research proposal and all. They have to go through it, like interested in it. Yeah, okay, and how is Niti life going on? For Niti life, I can say uh, the campus is very nice, wow. very nice. You can uh, like, uh, uh, like uh, the the people here. They say like it's it's a God's own campus, and uh, the faculty the faculties are very good. Uh, they are one of the best faculties in the B school in India, and uh, they are very humble. I, I can say like I really like the attitude of every each and every faculty here are very good. So my experience in NIT are like literally very good. My even including my colleagues and all here, they are very nice. Yeah, okay. So thank you for sharing your experience and journey with us. This is definitely going to help too many students out there. Thank you, thank you, Rajesh. Thank you.